Over on my Nintendo Switch, I have been playing Detective Pikachu Returns, which is a sequel to the 3DS Detective Pikachu game. I streamed a whole bunch of this on Twitch the other day, and I think the chat and I had a pretty good time with it. It's definitely slow going, and it's definitely engineered for younger players out there. It's very cutesy. It's got a cool kind of cartoony look to it, but there's also a little bit of a maturity to the character designs. It's not especially mind-blowing or impressive visually, but I did like the aesthetics. I did like the design choices. And there are some really nice cutaway shots of all of these different Pokemon creations. And what you do, it's carrying on from the story of the first game. You play as a young detective named Tim, and you are buddied up with a talking Pikachu detective played by Will Arnett, which is crazy. And the two of you are off trying to figure out these kind of low impact crimes that are happening in Rhyme City. And it's a game about walking over and talking to all kinds of different people and trying to pick up clues from them. You're also looking around in the environment. It's very handholdy, so it really is kind of guiding you along, and it tells you when you can begin deducing, and you start to figure out and put the details together so that you can zero in on your suspects, and then eventually solve the crimes that you get called in to help on by the local authorities, which is pretty cute. But there is this overarching story which connects it to the events of the first Detective Pikachu game from the 3DS about Tim's missing father, Harry. And so there are some interesting story beats and connections that keep you in on what's happening, but the gameplay just feels very safe and tailored for a much younger crowd. I mean, this is a game for, like, I'd say younger kids, like six-year-olds or seven-year-olds. My daughter's 11 now, so I think she would find this pretty juvenile and she wouldn't get into this too much, even though she is a big fan of Pokemon. But if you are a huge fan of Pokemon, it is an interesting game to pick up because of the different types of interactions that you get. For the most part, you're playing as Tim and figuring things out that way and having the conversations with the humans, but Pikachu can chat with all of these different Pokemon characters. And sometimes you play as Pikachu and you can employ Pokemon buddies to help in solving some of these crimes. I have to admit that I was finding it a little tedious and a little dull, and I absolutely thought that the production on this should have been enhanced. I mean, Pokemon is such a huge franchise. Real money could have been spent to build this Rhyme City environment into an open world thing. I mean, the idea is amazing. The idea of solving crimes with Pokemon and you're trying to, you know, deal with the conversations between humans and Pokemon critters and working together to solve all of these different things, I think it could be really, really fascinating. But this is so primitive. It feels almost like an N64 game. It feels like something that could have been made 20 years ago. And that's just too bad. But in spite of all that, there is a charm and there is this kind of mysterious pull that the game has. And I think if you are a massive Pokemon fan, you're going to get a lot of enjoyment out of it. It's definitely a cool idea. And the music is good and some of the voice acting is fun as well. I just wish it was made with a little bit of a bigger budget and a little bit more ambition, especially in 2023. So it doesn't come with my highest recommendation at all, but Detective Pikachu Returns is all right. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10.